Greetings from my hometown city of Zamboanga, home of colorful vintas and the pink coralline sand of Santa Cruz Island. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for another perfume video. We took advantage of the monsoon-free month of May to visit the family and get some much-needed vitamin C. For those of you who may not know, Zamboanga is a city in the southwest region of the Philippines. It is a peninsula and so there's sea all around as its borders are surrounded by Sulu Sea and Moro Gulf. Going home, it seemed appropriate to bring aquatic and marine type fragrances. And in this video, I'm going to share with you 5 aquatic fragrances that are must tries in my opinion. If you're going somewhere tropical or somewhere where temperatures are warmer and or vacationing near the ocean or any body of water, then you might want to check out these 5 fragrances. Best part is my mom smelled and tried all of these as well and weighed in on these reviews. First up is the new label called Fleur Terib. I did say in my review of this perfume that I have to be in a certain mood to want to wear this fragrance and yes, the perfect mood for this fragrance is somewhere near the ocean. This isn't exactly salty but has a marine aquatic vibe to this perfume plus that solar sun-kissed skin scent quality of this perfume shines true best where it mixes in with the smell of sea breeze. I hope I make sense. At first, I didn't think the label sweetness will make it for the hotter, more humid weather of Zamboanga. But the sweetness is just right and in fact, it's what dominates the lovely trail this leaves behind. Apart from powdery iris, I do not smell a particular floral or fruit. But there's a tropical vibe to this fragrance, perhaps some ilang-ilang thrown in and some fun fruity notes to bring this fragrance to life. And truthfully, I only discovered that facet of this fragrance whilst wearing this on this trip. As you can see from the dent, I use up so much of this fragrance during this trip. Some perfumes are best worn in specific situations and for Fleur Terrible, it's told the show during our almost daily trips to the beach enjoying fresh seafood and inhaling fresh sea air. If you're like me who grew up near the beach or you live near the beach, loves getting sun-kissed skin and tanned, loves hitting the beach any chance you get, get this perfume. You are going to get a lot of good use out of this bottle. This is lovely for the day, through the late afternoon afternoon and nighttime, basically all throughout the day. My mom caught waves of this in the air every single time and said it's beautifully done. I have a full dedicated review in the channel. I will leave the link in the description box below. This perfume is perfect to make memories with plus the bottle is to die for. For your next summer beach vacation, get a hold of La Belle Fleur Terrible. This is limited edition but I hope Jean Paul Gaultier makes this permanent. Super nice, super fun and for me a must own. The next one is the 2022 light blue flanker called Light Blue Italian Love Parfum Eau de Toilette. Another new release. This is the first time I'm talking about this perfume in my channel. First question in mind, how is this different from the original light blue? To be very honest, the first time I sniffed this perfume, it smelled no different from my memory of the original although I couldn't explain why I like this version better. My mom who forever owns light blue smelled this and said it smelled like it's always been. The lemon. If you've been following my channel for a while, I'm not the biggest fan of lemon in perfumes. But here, although more prominent, it was made more pleasant to the nose, a more relatable kind of lemon that's not too near lemon cleaner direction. It's the lemon scent you want to douse yourself in and it's fine. The all too familiar light blue DNA is there. You smell some juicy apples, a little bit of florals, and then it hits you. This is a creamier sandalwood forward and more elegant iteration of the original. This also smells warmer and more ambery overall. And the lemon is still very much there, although lighter and more in the background as this dry down. This lasts infinitely longer than the original light blue despite being an eau de toilette. Not super long lasting still, but definitely longer than the disappointing 30 minutes of the original light blue. Although fresh, this has more of a late afternoon sunset kind of vibe in a very hot, sticky humid place to me. I've never been to the coast of Italy, but I can imagine what it smells like vacationing there with this perfume. This is my third flanker of light blue and so far I'm loving them all. If you love the original light blue but has been disappointed with its disgusting longevity, maybe get this one. If you've been hating light blue before but would like to retry it, try this one instead. This is a flanker not too far off from the original in my opinion. Opinion, better called a new and improved version of light blue in my honest opinion. Nevertheless, I dig this one a lot and definitely keeping a bottle close. 
out of these five perfumes, this was my mom's favorite. She said, this is different and unique to the nose. It is not a perfume you smell around here at least every day. And this is Aqua Allegoria Flora Salvaggia from Gerla. This isn't salty, marine, or solar, but has a truly refreshing and aquatic vibe. This is perfect as a daytime everyday perfume for the warmer spring-summer seasons and definitely for year-round wear in tropical weather. This is basically a refreshing fruity watery purple floral perfume with a very very slight citrus kick in the opening becoming more powdery fresh and musky in the dry dawn. If you're sick of the usual fresh dewy rose or fresh jasmine and white florals for the summer warmer months then give this one a try. This is definitely for lovers of fresh floral perfumes made more fruity and summery for the hotter weather. I wore this to a small get-together with high school buddies wearing a nice summery outfit. I will leave a photo of it somewhere in this video. And one of my good friends asked me what it is I was wearing. I couldn't smell this on me at that point. I thought this was gone. She said it's a lovely floral. Maybe I turned nose blind after some time but this is really long lasting on me. It was around the 6 to 7 hour mark after spray when she made that comment. So yes, this lasts pretty well even in the heat and humidity. At least on my skin. I had a full review of this perfume in the channel. You might want to catch that if you haven't yet. Flora Salvaggia is one of my favorites from Aqua Allegoria. Fresh purple flowers, long lasting yet refreshing. Oceani di Seta by Salvatore Ferragamo is probably the perfume that truly embodies the ocean. Two words, fresh and blue. Comes to mind when I smell this perfume. This transports you to the feeling of being underwater with a view of the corals, fish swimming by, the sea floor, you know what I mean. Or the feeling of simply being by the beach inhaling the breeze and the salty sea air and the vegetation around including some woodiness reminiscent of driftwood. This has a fresh spicy kick in the opening that truly captivates your senses. If you like the ever so popular Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt, you are most likely going to like this perfume. They do not smell the same, but the vibe they give off is similar. Oshani Di Seta definitely leans more marine and watery and to me a lot less sweet and more unisex smelling than Wood Sage and Sea Salt. There's fresh green transparent smelling florals perhaps owing to the magnolia in this perfume. Maybe even some lily or lily of the valley but not to in your face. This is the type of perfume to wear when it's really really hot outside. This has the refreshing cooling effect of sea breeze. This is also a great perfume to layer with. This is very linear and fairly simplistic composition wise such that you can build this up to be a little more floral or a little more musky or a little more vanillic sweet as you wish. While this isn't my mom's favorite, she gravitates towards more floral freshies. She said this smelled absolutely gorgeous on me. This is my favorite in the line. I have a review of the whole Seta range in the channel. Link in the description down below. This is a good affordable designer unisex aquatic marine perfume to own. Especially if you live somewhere tropical. This will surely be an easy reach everyday perfume. This last one is supposed to capture the crystal clear essence of Norway in a bottle. I assume this alludes to the world's famous fjords of Norway. This is pretty new to my collection and I've only ever heard Giselle from GB Fragrances talk about this perfume before. And this is Lila, the Essence of Norway by Geyer Ness. The website only mentions Norwegian white flowers and lavender in the notes. This is essentially a crisp and airy, cool, fresh perfume great for the high, high heat. This is basically a thirst-quenching type of perfume with soapy clean vibe and hints of florals. The ozonic quality reminds me more of fresh mountain air more than the sea, but this is aquatic nonetheless. The crystal clear type water, that's what this evokes. I wear this every day after shower during the entire trip. This mellows down after about an hour but never truly disappears. You can layer a different perfume on top as needed or top up with this perfume midday. For us tropical dwellers, this is a good, good perfume to own. Great for outdoor type activities in this climate. Great for going out by the beach. Great to wear to hikes in the forest or the mountain. Great for any time you want to feel fresh and comfortable for any undertaking. You know how when it's hot and you crave for something cool and comfortable? This is the perfume to spray. I'm not sure if the lavender adds to the general comforting feel to this perfume. What I know is that I would grab for this to ease the sticky discomfort of humid weather. 
this pulse feminine on my skin becoming more musky floral as this dries down this unfortunately has very limited distribution i found some store in amazon that sells this and even in the u.s this is only available in nordstrom i think that's where i got this bottle from fragrance x also carries guyerness fragrances you might want to check their website as well and that is it for today you guys 5 aquatic ozonic marine perfumes for you to try out and enjoy for the warmer months I did a similar video last year you might want to check it out the perfumes included in that video are totally different from the ones I have today link down in the description below and if you're a fan of this genre of fragrance what do you think of these 5 fragrances have you tried any of them and if you have a favorite that's not in this list feel free to mention them down in the comment section below I would love to know your favorites too and if somehow you would like to visit this little island in the south, I will leave a link to the tourism information in the comment section below. I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Check to see if you are subscribed to the channel. And if you are not and enjoy this type of content, please, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'd know when a new video is uploaded. Thank you all for joining me today and wherever you are vacationing to next. Please stay safe, smell your absolute best, and see you all in my next video. Bye!